Mark Weir showing up out of his busy schedule. And uh, we're gonna go over some bike setup. It's super D, they're completely different. It's not a downhill race, it's not a cross country race. So if you could go over exactly how you set the bike up, tell us all your secrets. All right, yeah, for this uh, course, it was a very physical course, so that's why I'm wearing this, uh, the Plum Smugglers, you know, not very comfortable in front of the camera with them, but uh, it is what it is. For this course, I set up with a more cross-country style trail bike with, uh, I ran XC, tire, XC wheels, which are real light, they're like 380 gram rims, pretty light, you got to ride kind of light out there, it's very physical, uphill, pedally kind of enduro here. Um, I touch, uh, you know, probably 600 gram tires front and rear with inner piece and dual compound. Uh, a little smaller in the rear so I can spool it up a little quicker on the uh, uphill climbs and out of the corners. Um, I run a 38 tooth ring uh, for this course because it didn't have a lot of steep climbs with the 1136 in the rear. With this new Shadow Derailleur Plus, you don't have to run a bottom pulley. It, this locks out your derailleur with this switch so it's open like this and you can close this like that and now it's tight so your chain's not going to bounce around which is a real sweet thing when you're riding this kind of stuff because you can actually back pedal and not lose your chain. Um, this new uh, Dyad shock from Fox for the Cannondale Jekyll, this bike is set up to go 150 uh, to 90 so 90 mils of travel with the flick of this lever then you push the button and it uh, changes the travel to 150 so it'll change your sag a little bit change so it doesn't stink bug as much on the climbs. Um, this course we ran a little bit smaller fork, a 32 uh, 150 Fox Air Fork. I usually run, you know, on some of the other Endurals, you'll run a 36 coil, something a little bigger, a little slacker head angle. Um, also have these adjustable headset spacers, so you can come to the course and you can kind of adjust what height you want your bar at, depending on how steep or how flat the course is. Um, something that some people don't play with, I'm kind of a geek, so I kind of do that stuff. Um, you know, I ran uh, six inch rotors for this course because I really didn't need a lot of stopping power and the brakes are pretty strong with six inch rotors, even on sustained descents. So XTR Trail Grupo, very light setup, the bike at 27, 27 pounds with, uh, this is a, a adjustable seat post. Um, it's a three position uh, and I integrated into a shift lever so it looks a little cleaner. So I'm not just a guy with cables everywhere looking like a clown, but uh, even a water bottle mount, you know, and a lot of the new trail bikes don't have it. It's nice to have for when you don't want to wear a camelback. Um, so everything's specific for these kind of courses. You change your bike, it, it can be anything. It can be more downhill. It can be long downhill where you're going to wear baggies and pads and stuff like that to protect yourself at all times. But when it's more physical, like a course like this, you want to be aero. You know, you want to be you want to be what the course is. You don't want to be told what to wear because there's a dress code. It's not World Cup. This is anyone can play. So XC high poster, you know, low poster baggy guy, skin suit guy, whatever you want to be, you can come out and play and get yourself uh, some to time. It's always nice to know what your time is. Uh, you can't always race your friends, but you can always race the clock. So it's kind of a nice feature to have around on the bike. Um, yeah, and you know, carbon bars, lock on grips, all the stuff you need in case the weather gets foul. So that's legend Mark Weir, and that was an epic explanation of how a Super D bike is set up, even down to the grams. Roadies, cross country guys, downhill racers, weekend warriors, nerds, welcome. You could be heckled at any time. Anytime. <laughs>